Holy cow, we're in a heat wave guys. Check it out, all the snow has been melting and subsequent flooding has been all around. I'm welcoming the early spring and the opportunity to take out my Boom Racing BRX01 kit that I recently built on my YouTube channel, a series of videos that I showed you guys this kit. It is a pretty neat truck, but I've been itching to take it outside. Uh, yes, I did do a door mod, if you guys haven't seen it before. It's basically my Toyota short door mod, uh, easy to remove and easy to access on the inside. If I wanted to have my driver just have no door at all, I can easily pop that out. Um, and yeah, I wanted to lift up the rear suspension a little bit so uh, I could go over the ruts and stuff on uh, on my small acreage here because the terrain can be a little bit rough. Lots of water, lots of things to have fun with. And uh, I know people say I may talk a lot in my videos. I have read that in the comment section. Um, I can say that some people say that when I do silent videos that they want me to chat through it. So I've learned to do videos that I like and hopefully you guys enjoy them too. Let's go have some fun. Glad I got that snorkel on there. I'd be in trouble. So you can see a whole series of prints I've made with my skid steer to actually help direct the water down off the property because there's quite a bit melting. But it makes great tracks, of course. If you find these in the back alleyways or anything like that, tire tread prints hold the best kind of water. Just soupy out today. Land cruiser for your pleasure. Three, two, one. There's a melting snow pile. Wonder how the traction will be now that the tires are cold. Pure ice and a bit of rock. No problem. Sweet. The other thing I like crawling is these snow piles because it gives you like a good opportunity to get in there, get some good muddy scale shots. Well, in my case, mud in my snow piles. Great clearance with that high clearance plate on the bottom. A little bit of a belly drag. Hustler tires hooking up. Mini me a little bit worse for wear. <laughs> Understandably, he's a little bit cold. Okay, so those tires have a lot of mud on them now. This is part of the reason why I like to keep my trucks more on the light side because I know uh, any kind of treaded tire is definitely gonna kind of grab the mud that's around here and be a very heavy rotating mass. Uh, not only on your servo, but of course your entire drivetrain. So keeping your truck light when you go into the mud does help. Especially when you take into the weight, uh, into consideration the weight of the tires. Art of the slow crawl. Crossing tributaries here. Treading lightly, of course, but this is just a muddy, mucky path anyway. Let's hit this with some speed. Love that. Nice. 
the deep stuff. Oh, soupy. Great traction. Through the old hut. No problem at all, wow. See if I can get up on this shelf here. It's pretty soft along the edge. Yeah, beautiful. Get a look at those wheels chewing into the ice a little bit. Okay, back up with a bit of wheel speed going forward. Oh, not enough. Should have been more aggressive. There you go. When in doubt, throttle out. The other beautiful thing about wheeling when you're an RC enthusiast, all the things you wanted to do in full scale but were too afraid to, you can do in small scale instead. You can build any truck you want. You can go any place you want, within reason, within the law, of course. Have whatever RC adventure you feel fit. Look at this beautiful shot. In the sun, along the ice shelf, in my field. <laughs> Burning through the ice shelf on the back, a little bit of traction though. Well, there it is, my friends, the BRX-01. Officially has a stamp of used product now. I love this truck. I went out, trailed with it today, obviously around my place. Uh, wanted to take advantage of all the runoff. This means new trail season, guys. I love it. Rock crawling and uh, trail crawling season is here, and I'm ready to rock and roll. Ooh, in a pit. I didn't have any issues with this kit at all today. Enough wheel speed. I love having a creeper looking vehicle, but when I power down, I've got the wheel speed to get me out of most situations. Not saying wheel speed makes the driver, that's for sure. But the appropriate wheel speed when needed is great to have. Guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll see you in the next episode of RC Adventures. Now get outside, take advantage of that weather. And go have a good time with the hobby of RC. Until next time, guys.